I've been in Edmonton for one month now. Snowboarding, editing, working on projects, and continuing to learn how to cope with the mental health side effects of a really shaky personal foundation. Through this difficult time, however, I've been learning a lot about grounding myself within friendships, especially the long-term ones, moving towards them when times are tough and being as present as possible when the times are good. Friendship has always been one of the most consistent parts of my life, providing stability when all other things feel unstable. My pals are part of my foundation. I remember once explaining to a friend that I enjoy having a mind like a bouncy ball in an open room, as long as the perimeter is set, meaning that I enjoy taking unique opportunities and letting my mind work with different and sometimes difficult philosophical concepts, as long as I know my foundation is able to keep my bouncy ball brain from drifting too far into left field. This importance of consistent foundation is why I have such a hard time thinking about moving away from the people I love. Sure, you can make friends anywhere, but you can't make 15-year histories with anyone, anywhere. In David White's book, Consolations, he wrote that, The touchstone of friendship is not improvement, neither of the self nor of the other. The ultimate touchstone is witness, the privilege of having being seen by someone, and the equal privilege of being granted the sight of the essence of another, to have walked with them and to have believed in them, and sometimes to just have accompanied them, for however brief a span, on a journey impossible to accomplish alone. Without witness, life is difficult to maneuver through. It has a way of making you feel very alone at times. You can get lost in thoughts of how no one knows the way your mind works or can understand the emotional pain you may be going through because they've never experienced what it means to be you. Which is entirely true. No one has experienced what it means to wake up day in and day out living your life, cooking your meals, loving who you love, and making both the incredibly simple and torturously hard decisions that you have to make. Your happiness is entirely up to you, and therefore, it's also your responsibility to acknowledge the valuable friendships in your life, the ones that make you feel understood, at least some of the time, and believed in during those times you do not feel understood. So, here's to new friends and old ones, to learning the essence of another by being a witness to their life and having others be the foundation to yours. Here's to Christmas hangouts, New Year's shots, and casino losses. Here's to having people who are willing to snowboard with you, shoot pool with you, stretch with you, and hug you. Here's to not turning a blind eye to those who love you the most, but instead making them feel appreciated for who they are at every moment we can. Here's to friendship.